Well hello stampers. Today I'll be showing you how to make a card very similar to this. It has a vintage look. It's a top folding card and we'll be using the Daisy Punch and also the Daisy Delight stamp set. We'll be just using the stem from that set. We won't be uh, stamping the Daisy. We'll be just punching it out using the punch. For the background, we'll be using the Timeless Textures. This is a great stamp set. Lots of, lots of different um, designs on that one. And from the Colourful Seasons, we'll be using the sentiment Just Breathe. The inks that we'll be using today will be Fresh Fig and Daffodil Delight. The cardstock we'll be using is very vanilla, top folding card, we're in Australia here so it's an A4 cut straight down the middle and folded in half. For the front of the card we'll be using a piece of fresh fig and we'll be used there, I'll have another piece of very vanilla that we'll be cutting out our flowers and our sentiment, stamping in our sentiment on that one. Okay, we'll get started. So we're, what we're doing, what I'm doing here is punching out a flower. You can see in the background there I've already punched and coloured one of the flowers. Now I'll be using a finger sponge with the Daffodil Delight and just going around the, the petals and colouring those petals. I'll be going around a couple of times just to put extra depth in the petals. Then I'll be using another finger sponge and with the fresh fig just dabbing into the centre of the flower just to give it a nice two-toned look. Now we need some set, we need some centers for these flowers even though they're going to be little five petal flowers I need a couple of centers so I'm using chocolate chip for this there's a little stamp in the in the Daisy Delight stamp set it's a two set stamp it's one's for the base and then another one that has a bit of texture on it that stamps over the top of it so I stamped off on the chocolate chip first off and using the full strength for the little stamp that has the textures on it. The flowers as I'm showing you here have five, five petals. There's a group of three and a group of two. So I just cut those full flowers down and you can see here I'm just using, I'm just putting a group of two over the top of a group of three and I'll be gluing that together with a bit of Tombow. Now what I've done here is I've masked off the front of the card base <clears throat> just with some typing paper just so that when I do the stamping around the edges I don't get any of the stamps on the back of the card base. I only want to have the stamps on the front. I'm just using different stamps from the Timeless Textures there's no right or wrong way of doing this, just whatever makes you happy. I think I used three stamps when I was doing this. The last one was just a little, was the flower stamp from the set. Just filling in all the spaces. Then I've uh, picked up my fresh fig piece of cardstock and I'm going to tear around the edge just like I showed you on my sample card. When you do this tear it towards yourself so that you have that edge. Then with a, a fingered sponge I just went around all the edges with the fresh fig ink. Now you can see I want what happened I dropped the stamp pad on top of my, my card piece but it doesn't really matter what I'm doing is just going over the card piece with 
just with some more stamps from the from the textures set and yeah as I say it won't matter just camouflaging that a little bit and making out that it was a deliberate um, stamp that I put on the on the on the card front now time to stamp the stems for my flowers and I'm doing the stems in fresh fig as well keeping the card pretty well much two-toned so I'll stamp that one up the middle then I'll just manipulate the the stem on the block the photopolymer stamps you can manipulate them quite easy they're quite flexible so I just did that one out to one side and another one facing the other way similar to the card I used as a display at the beginning now just joining my my petals up on my flowers a little bit of Tombow look you can put these on whichever way you like I just put the the three at the back and the two at the front and just um, and stuck those all together two full full flowers will make these three small little sectioned flowers Just taking my time with that don't worry if the tops of them aren't even we can cut those away we've got to put the centers on first as you saw before I stamped two centers I'm cutting those in half we only need a half a center on each flower so I'll have a half a center over just to I'll keep that for another for another card Now I'm just using some Tombow and what I'll do I'll place the centers on the tops of the flowers using my reverse tweezers here I find these excellent for working in with small pieces if you don't know what reverse tweezers are what they do is they 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 clamp shut and you have to push them in in for them to open up the prongs so they actually hang on to the little pieces of cardstock really easy without you having to put pressure on the on the tweezers themselves just tidying up a bit a little bit of overspill with the glue sometimes I put too much Tombow on a little Tombow goes a long way it's excellent glue you've got a little time for um, wiggle room but other than that it, it dries pretty quick me fiddling around once again making sure that they're on straight now I'm just going to even up the tops of them cut them and make them smooth to make them more realistic basically 
Tidy up the edges. Sometimes fiddle around too much with these with these flowers, but they look good in the end. Now what I'll do is I'll attach my flowers onto my piece of cardstock with some dimensionals. Just showing you there how I'm going to put them put them on. I'm not going to put them all on the one height. Just placing them on the on the on the cardstock and making sure they look all right before I attach them with the dimensionals. Just one dimensional on the back. Well, actually, I I pulled a whole one off and then put it back and then used the sides. There's not a lot of space behind the flowers, and I just didn't want to have them showing through. So I just use some of the sides. And don't put them too close, the dimensionals too close to the top because you'll be able to see them over the top of the flower. So if you just put them down a little bit when you're looking front on on the on the card you won't be able to see any of the dimensional. Now I'm just going back and having another look to decide which one I'm I'm going to put in the center. Oh, I'm starting at the side. I'm just showing you that you don't have to as long as you've got the end of the stem covered. It doesn't matter how low or how high you put them. Now this one I'm going to put, it'll, it'll end up a little lower, but still covering up the top of the stem. And the centre one, I'll put that one a lot higher, but it doesn't matter because the petals will cover the top of the stem. Now here I am using some snail to attach the front of the card to the card base. Any glue that goes off the side just just pull it back into the back of the back of the card so it doesn't show at the front a little bit um, in the center. And then we'll just line that up on the, our card base and, it, um, and press down. You can use any sort of glue to attach this. You can use liquid glue. Tear. The tear tape is fine. Now what I'm going to do now is emboss a sentiment. The Just Breathe sentiment. But I want to... Uh, so I need to... Use the Versamark first because I want to emboss it, and I, but I want to use the Fresh Fig colour. So I'm using my embossing buddy first on my cardstock, inking up my um, stamp with the Versamark, then with the Fresh Fig, stamping on my paper, wiping off some ink that got on my block there first so it doesn't transfer onto my paper. Just re-inking, make sure I've got enough colour. Pressing down, holding it for a few seconds. Just moving things out of the way so I can quickly 
put the embossing powder on before the ink dries. Giving it a flick. That's done a good job. So now I'll just I'm heating up the heat gun. I'll bring it to the paper. I normally rotate front and back. Sorry I'm a bit off screen there or out of camera there. Just do go to from the front to the back till it heats up nicely and then starts to starts to melt the embossing powder. Once you see it's starting to go shiny, you know it's done. Don't hold the heat over it any longer than that. You can quite easily burn the cardstock. How do I know that? Because I've done that in the past. Yeah, that's all done. Now, what I also did is I used the the textured stamps, I tore all around the edges on the sentiment. I used the textured stamps and also sponged around the edge so it could match the rest of the card. And then just attached it with dimensionals at the bottom of the front there. If you would like to purchase any of the products that I used today, there's clickable links below. And they link straight to my Stamping Up 24-7 online store. And I would appreciate it if you could use my hostess code, which you'll also find below. Stamping Up has some fabulous promotions on this month, and all the information is there for you as well. If you've enjoyed the video, I would appreciate it if you could please subscribe, click the thumbs up, and leave a comment. Let me know what you think of my card. Thank you, and see you next time. Bye.